Hi everybody, I have another mini session I'm doing here today for client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get started. All right, it says, I don't have a specific question or goal for this mini session. I just like it to go as guided by spirit. I'm open to any guidance and healing that needs to come to me right now. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and relax now. Okay, so I'm looking at boards. There's many boards here. And if you had a piano, let's say, and then you tilted it this way, um, there's uh, these boards seem to, some of them are moving out towards me and moving back in, and it's just like um, different variations of movement, and some of them are coming pretty far out, almost going to hit me in the forehead, and then they kind of move back in, but they're constantly in motion, so there's like, I don't know, 100 boards here, and they're just like the size of uh, piano keys, and they're just kind of coming in and out like that. But surprisingly, it's very silent in here. So I see activity, but I don't um, really experience it on the level that it should be expressing itself. Okay, we're going to slow things way down here. Slowing things way down. It's like somebody pushed mute in your energy field. There just feels like uh, something beneath the surface of it all. And it guides me toward a heart that's kind of like a balloon that uh, has been blown up. So, But it's very tight. Like a Valentine's Day balloon. They're really tight when they're uh, full, you know? And your heart is uh, tight like a blown up balloon. And I'm just going to relax this on down too. And so I'm just relaxing your heart on down. So it's, it shouldn't be f full. It shouldn't be like this, okay? A heart that's full of love is just expressing energy. And um, it can smell like perfume and it could feel... Um, refreshing right like smell of flowers and things like that but when it's blown up like this and it's really tight it's like holding your breath right um, and so it needs to relax some um, and then just let let this pent-up energy out so we can see what's inside there that's creating that in the first place and so when I slow your heart down and then I touch your mind okay it's gonna help here is there something that's making you sad? Maybe maybe you want you want to look at this sadness. But maybe you I'm still un trying to understand it. You ever want somebody to see something but you don't really want to say? You just want them to see it. Like you just want them to see it about you, but you don't want to you don't want to tell them about it. You just want them to see it. So this mute in here, it's like, um, but beneath the surface, there's something sad, but it's kind of like holding its breath, right? So again, it's, it's, it's wanting to be found, but not wanting to, to talk about it, okay? So I'm just going to keep relaxing you on down. So you just need a hug, okay? <laughs> so I'm hugging you, relaxing you hard in your mind, okay? <laughs> We're just going to relax you on down. Okay, this is going to hurt. Um, you show me, like when I relax your heart on down, it doesn't, the air isn't coming out. It actually blows up. Your heart explodes and it hurts. Like I feel it blow up and it hurts. It's like somebody put a bomb inside and it just blew up like a person's body splattered everywhere. It was pretty extreme, okay? When I relax your heart down, it shouldn't blow up. It should just 
It should come forward as a consciousness that is ready to express something. So this is quite vulnerable, vulnerable thing going on here. But the good news is that now that that's popped, we can get start getting to like um, the real juices of it all, like the real stuff, okay? You ever um, want to talk about something, but you don't want to cry, and then you start talking about it and you just start crying to the to almost like ridiculous like um heaving and like can't breathe and you're loud and wailing but after you get the cry out you feel so much better almost like laughing in a weird way like why am i why am i crying so extremely but now i'm just like thankful that i just did that <sighs> maybe not laughing but it's just like the extreme difference of just letting that out and now once that's out it starts to feel better because the act of crying is a healing process, a purification process. It's getting the dirt out, the energetic dirt out, okay? And I feel that's kind of like uh, where your heart's at. It just wants to just let this go, like let this out. And it is because it's already shifting. And uh, now that it's shifting, it can express itself in a new way, better than it was before, okay? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to give you one last hug here. Like a real genuine hug. Like like I'm closing my eyes, I'm walking towards you, I'm actually feeling your body, and I'm just giving you a really big hug, okay? Hmm. And I'm giving you the squeeze. It's not like, like... I'm, I'm like doing the act of hugging but not really touching you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm giving you the squeeze, okay? It's a real hug. You matter. <sighs> that hopes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for reaching out. It's a pleasure to do this uh, session for you today. And thank you, too, for sharing. And uh, if any of you out there watching, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, come visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all. I hope you all have a great day.